So a lot of people have been talking now. Um, people have been reacting to Messi's um, performance or what he, he did against Real Madrid. But like, <laughs> I need people just to look at things re realistically now. What Messi did was amazing. I wouldn't call it a great performance. Messi has actually performed better in other classicals. But it's just what he did in critical moments and how he's pretty much dragging a very weak Barcelona side by the scruff of the neck. Because Luis Enrique is the guy that the guy is useless. He doesn't know what the hell he is doing. Um, but the point I'm making is this, is that um, Messi isn't the greatest football player of all time. Club-wise, Lionel Messi is the greatest club football player of all time. That is not in dispute. I'm sorry. No player for a club has done more than what Messi has done. And, there's, and this is always the counter-argument. The, the, the counter-argument is this. Look at what Cristiano did for Man United, for Real Madrid. Look at, what all, look at what players have done over multiple teams. Look at what Ibrahimovic has done. Messi has not played in different systems under different teams. That's irrelevant that's a mute point the reason why that's a mute point is you're talking about what how what a player has done individually doesn't matter about different systems the question is who has been the best most consistent football player at club level it's been messy that's a fact you take you say okay messi is a benefit of the system I'll switch it around. You take Messi out of Barcelona, they don't win those troubles. They don't win those trophies. It doesn't happen. Because his goals, his assists, how everything goes through him, how the team is built ar around him, is the reason why Barcelona have been so successful. And you're seeing this season what he's doing, because I said in my post-match, if Barcelona win the league this season, this will be Messi's greatest achievements for Barcelona. Because this is the worst Barcelona side that I've seen since their dominant era of when Pepe Cordiola came in. It's the worst I've, I've, I've seen, as in they have no fullbacks. They have no midfield. Iniesta is getting old. Iniesta and Busquets are on the way down. You know, so they're a team who have really been surviving on the whole MSN. But you're seeing what Messi is doing because people said, oh my gosh, Neymar's injured. They will not be able to do this. And Messi, again, he didn't have an amazing game, but two critical moments turned the game around and led them to vic victory. Obviously, Rakic is scoring that G. But people need to relax. Messi is in the greatest football player of all time. There's a guy called Ar Armando. Wait, who's Armando? 1986. World Cup. But not even that. And I keep on saying this, and I think I'll say, I'll say it again. Armando led Napoli to two league titles. Napoli... How many league titles have Napoli won? Two. Who was the critical player who led them to those league titles? Armando. Barcelona won league titles before Messi came. Barcelona will, will win league titles after Messi leaves. Napoli won no league titles before Armando. And Napoli will not win any league titles after Armando. They only won league titles with Armando. Because what Armando did, winning league titles for Napoli during the height of AC Milan for me, is one of the greatest footballing achievements in history by an individual. Go on to YouTube and see what Armando did for Napoli. Not Barcelona, not Bayern Munich, not Manchester United, Napoli. So, let's just chill out. You know, what Pele did as a 17-year-old in a World Cup, playing against fully grown men. Okay, what Ronaldo did coming off a knee injury in 2002 World Cup. <laughs> what Zidane did in 2006. 2006, after he retired. So, there is a certain level. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Like, international, it's, it, it, it does matter. So, Messi isn't in that elite group. He's not a horseman. He's not one of the very select, cradled few who you would say, no, these guys are separate from others. He's a great, but not an elite. But as far as club football goes, what this guy has been doing, his dribbling, his technique, his control, how it takes three guys to stop him down, how he just completely bamboozles the defences, his quickness of feet, and his big game deliverance. Like that goal that he scored. If Barcelona win the league, 
they will point to that moment. Facts. If Arsenal win La, La Liga this season, that messy goal in the final minute could be the definitive pivotal moment. And that is huge. So, guys, man, let us put this how it should be. Messi is the greatest club football player of all time. Doesn't matter whether he's only played for, for, for one club, what he has achieved and what he has done over multiple seasons. If you're a football fan, you have to pay homage. But he ain't in the same league as Armando. Because what Armando did leading Napoli to a league victory is beyond human comprehension. He ain't the greatest football player of all time, but he's the greatest club player of all time.